We've become so used to winning in Victory Monday that we forgot what it feels like to lose two games in three weeks. And it's been a while since we did the risers and fallers for the Detroit Lions, but we're going to do that. And we're going to take a look at Pride of Detroit's article and see who they say. And then we're going to give our two cents. And uh, as always, this stuff will be linked and credited in the description. So if you want to read the full article, be sure to check that out. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. Now, it's amazing when you do a video, but you forget to unmute your microphone. And usually I always check and I didn't check. So this is my second time during doing this video. So the stock down, Alex Anzalone is the first one on the list. He had nine tackles and I am going to agree with this assessment. He just seemed off yesterday. And I made a joke during the live stream that he just had a child. And it seems like when, when these guys have babies, man, they're thrown off. Maybe it's the sleep schedule. You know, you're irritated because of lack of sleep. I don't know. But he seemed a little chippy yesterday. He was the, the main one getting into everything with most of the Bears uh, players. And then he got that penalty, that late hit on one of the receivers. So, which I think it, it was his fault, but... I mean, you couldn't really tell he was out of bounds, but Alex was chippy yesterday. You could tell something was was going on. So I do agree with that assessment. When we go to stock up, John Kaminsky, six tackles, one tackle for loss, one sack, sack two QB hits. I'm going to say yes, because Kaminsky had disappeared. He had when uh, went away, and he was a big part in the early part of the season and last year's run, and then he's been MIA for most of the year. I'm going to say yes. It was good to see him back in form that we know that commission can be stock neutral. Aiden Hutchinson, two tackles, one tackle for a loss, one sack, two pass passes defended, two QB hits. That sounds like a stock up to me, but I think the the neutral comes in with the critical offsides that gave the Chicago Bears a free play that resulted into a touchdown. So I'm gonna say, I'm going to say that I'm not going to take a stock up away from Hutch because of that, because it, it, it's fourth down and 13. If you don't give away the touchdown or a big play or a first down, right, it's going to only be five yards. The, the bad news is Jerry Jacobs, who we'll discuss on this list, was back there in coverage. So I'm going to say, for me, that is a, stack, a, a, a stock up stat for me is for Aiden Hutchinson. So I'm going to say that I'm going to disagree with that. Going to stock down, Jared Goff, absolutely. 20 for 35, 161, one touchdown, two INTs. A miserable day for Jared Goff. And he is getting ridiculed by the fan base and everybody's ready to move on. But Dan Campbell said today that he doesn't blame Jared Goff for either one of those interceptions. In fact, one was a, they were trying to get a, I was watching it. I'm like, why is Jared Goff throwing that ball? He was trying to get a pass interference. Didn't work. And then they wind up getting the ball back after a three and out from the Chicago Bears. They were on the 45-yard line. If they punt that thing in the end zone and it's a touchback, the net punt would have been 20 yards, except they put them on a 12, three and out, get the ball back. It's just sad that we couldn't move the ball. And, yes, Jared Goff was one of the reasons why. Stock down, Derek Barnes, six tackles, one QB hit. Really don't have much to say about DB. Stock up, Jameer Gibbs, 11 carries, 66 yards, and one TD. When it comes to Jameer, it was weird, man, because he started, he, he was like nowhere to be found the first either drive or quarter. It was like, where's Jameer Gibbs? And then he goes out there and he does pretty well against the number one run defense. But what was intriguing is that David Montgomery was eating against his old team. It seemed like every time he got the ball, he got a positive yards, but we got away from what was working, which I don't understand. So I'll say that that is a stock up as well. Now this one right here, there's at this point, there's nothing you can do to change my mind. I'm ready to see him go stock up Aaron Glenn. I don't even care at this point. It is time for him to be fired and there's no if, ands or buts about it. You can't, I know what you guys are going to say. Well, the offense didn't put the defense they the defense the worst part of the field. Like they didn't give them good field position, but at the same time, the defense still can hold people to three points. The defense still gives up seven. Okay. It's not like these plays were at the goal line. Okay. I don't care if it's a short field. How many times have we seen short fields turn into field goals, which are three points closer to a loss. So I don't want to hear it. I'm done with Aaron Glenn. It's time for him to go. Uh, he can, he can have his defense number one. And the only way he sticks around is if we win a Super Bowl. Like I'm, I'm done with Aaron Glenn. Now, if we go to the stock up, the quick hits, Ify Melifonwu, okay, cool. 
had a start in, uh, for Tracy Walker, did pretty well. Didn't hear his name for anything bad. That's always a good thing. Jalen Reeves, Maven was a stud, not only last week, but yesterday as well. Got a sack and uh, had some other plays as well. Ben Johnson, OC, is a stock up. Jack Fox, stock up. Romeo Okwara, stock up. Stock down, Jake McQuaid, Dan Campbell, Kirby Joseph, Stock neutral, Jerry Jacobs, I'm going to say no. Let's critique these real quick. Stock down head coach, Dan Campbell, for challenging a play that I thought was not a smart move. Okay, I can see that. Dan Campbell is zero for three on challenges this season. If you think about it, I was like, thinking back, the Detroit Lions don't really have to challenge. Like, they rarely but it's, it's plays that they don't really have to challenge. I don't know if it's their style of play or what, but you watch any other game and everybody's challenging. When it seems like with the Detroit Lions, man, we for some reason with us, we don't have to do that. Now, when it comes to Jerry Jacobs, are we kidding? Stock neutral? And here's what they had to say. This is funny to me. Jerry Jacobs keeps being asked to cover opposing teams wide receiver one. He's not a QB one. He, it should also say or two. The Lions simply don't have the personnel to compensate, and too often Jacobs is left on an island looking like the man to blame as a result. Well, he is the man to blame as a result. Are you kidding, bro? I'm Listen, like I said, I'm done. I'm done with Jacobs. I'm done with the Jared Goff defending I'm Jared, because I'm just tired. I'm done with Aaron Glenn. I'm done with those three things. I'm done, okay? Brad Holmes, eventually the finger got to be pointed at somebody other than these guys. We didn't make a move at the trade deadline for a cornerback or a pass rusher or anything like that because real quiet, real quiet, real quiet, we needed a cornerback. And now we got to get one again. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below of stock up and stock, stock down. Uh, I am pretty much in agree with most of these, just a couple I disagree with, but let me know in the comments below. Now, got some news today. I was told that I wasn't good enough to be an ambassador for uh, Blender Eyewear, which is where I got the Prime 21. So that's the last time I'm going to push that product, okay? Because they didn't even give me a reason as to why they're not going to accept me to the program. So it's all good. You know, that's a story. They told me 16,000 wasn't good enough. I guess that's what they're trying to say. So, you know, that's cool because eventually you get big enough that somebody will notice. And those are the people that deserved my time to promote their product. I still rock them though. And they still, they still them prime 21s. But as far as that, it's the last time I'm going to mention where I got them from. So anyway, you guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. This time, the mic was not muted.